how the reflection can be controlled. My friends, you might have studied in your strength of material course that your deflection depends on various factors. It depends upon action like load, bending moment etcetera and it also depends on the material property. Obviously, the beam in which the material properties are strong and or you can say for stronger material, the deflection would be less. For stronger material, the deflection would be less. If the moment of inertia of your uh, section is also high, in that case also you can say that deflection would be less. Okay. So, very simple example is there to understand the moment of inertia that uh, let us suppose uh, this is the this is your beam. Okay. It can be bent like this, it can be bent like this, even I can feel it is bending. Okay. I am not so powerful, but still it is bending. But, but if I am going to bend this beam like this, if I am going to bend it like this, then I will not be able to bend it. Are you getting it? I will not be able to bend it like this, but I can bend it like this up to some extent. What is the difference between this orientation and this orientation? What is the difference between this orientation and this orientation? Difference comes with the moment of inertia. When I was trying to bend like this, so this was the section which was coming under the rotation. Okay? And here moment of inertia of this uh, portion is less. You can say it is B d cube by 12. I am assuming it to be rectangular. So, moment of inertia would be less. But when you were trying to bend this beam like this, so in that case, this is the axis of rotation. So, now this section has to be rotated like this. So, now the depth increases and it is B d cube by 12. So, bigger dimension is go, go, getting to be cubed 3 times B d cube by 12. So, the value of moment of inertia enhances like anything. So, that is the reason why we are not able to bend uh, my beam in this direction as compared to this direction. So, this is all the game of moment of inertia. Okay? So, in bending the moment of inertia is 0. The section which is going to have the higher moment of inertia is going to bend uh, very readily, very difficult and the one which is going to have the lower moment of inertia that can be bent very easily. Okay? Are you getting the thing or not? Okay. Apart from that one more factor is there and that factor is uh, material property, Young's modulus of the material. But in this case, we cannot change the value of P, we cannot change the value of L, we cannot change the material. So, we are, on, we are only left only, we are only left with one option and that option is moment of inertia. And in moment of inertia, we have seen this value depends more with the depth in comparison to width because it is for rectangular section it is B D cube by 12. So, depth is getting cubed. So, there would be a exponential growth if you are increasing the depth. So, IS code has given its clauses such that in such a manner that it is going to change the depth of your beam. Okay. So, you are going to change the depth of the beam. Obviously, for such beams where restrainings are high, there the deflection would be less. And such beams where restrainings are less, in those cases deflection would be higher. In those cases deflection would be higher. Okay? Like in case of cantilever beam, like in case of uh, simply supported beam. But if we are talking about fixed, fixed beam or continuous beam, in such cases deflection would be less due to the more restraining. Okay? Are you getting it or not? Isn't it? So, if we are able to control the depth, if we are able to provide the proper depth for a particular system of support, in that case, by that case, you guys can control the deflection. And common sense says, deflection in cantilever would be higher for similar condition as compared to simply supported condition. It would be least in continuous system. So, requirement of depth of the section requirement of depth of the section would be higher in which case? Will it be higher in cantilever case or it is highest in uh, continuous beam? Tell me. 
if deflections are more in cantilever beam as compared to continuous beam then obviously the required depth in cantilever beam are higher because higher depth uh, means uh, you uh, your section has to perform better in flexor and you can control the deflection so in order to control deflection in uh, cantilever beam as compared to continuous beam the depth of the section required would be higher because higher moment of resistance need to be generated in case of cantilever beam whereas due to the lower value of bending moment and all at the center so relatively you can provide even lesser depth in continuous beam because deflections would be lesser there are you getting it or not so that is the reason why code has given it some standard values and here they are saying that the vertical deflection limit shall assume to be satisfied for beam and one way slab if the basic value of span to the effective depth shall be so there are three basic uh, value so what is the uh, value they are saying span to effective depth they are giving some number let me call that number a so code has proposed the value of a code has proposed the value of a and you can see that this a is giving you depth proposed depth this a is giving you proposed depth and if you are working in cantilever beam then the requirement of depth would be more it means the value of a should be less if a span is kept constant similarly if you are uh, working in continuous beam then the requirement of depth would be less or value of a would be more okay so i am trying to give you the logic that uh, what is the difference between uh, a value where it should be higher and where it should be lower okay after that i am going to show you this value so these are the proposed value of code for different different scenario as usual i told you that uh, for cantilever this value is 7 for simply supported this value increases it is 20 and for continuous beam this value further increases and it is 26 